my video on the federal election 2016 analysis. First of all, do you like my shirt? <laughs> oh, I'm perfectly amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to share that with everyone. Okay, just quickly, I refer to Mark Aldridge's analysis of the 2016 federal election, the AC corruption, the vote counting corruption. Mark is an independent candidate in South Australia, quite widely respected. Um, I want to make some notes about social media, the thousands and thousands of objections to the election by voters and scrutineers um, on social media. Some of the complaints are as follows regarding AEC vote counting corruption and cor corruption at the polling booths, missing ballots, a shortfall of ballot papers, so not enough ballot papers, um, crossing voters' names off without voting and telling them, oh, that's right, we're going to cross your name off but you don't get to vote. Scrutineers of small groups and independents observing blatant vote counting corruption. Um, ballot instructions, six boxes only. They're saying, oh, just vote six boxes above the line, not giving correct instructions. Kicking scrutineers out of polling booths. Uh, there's no independent scrutineering. Um, AC staff insist, insisting voters to vote in pencil. A 48-hour stoppage of vote counting. What's that all about? And delays in vote counting to August. The most serious problems, in my view, is the scrutineers, um, what they were witnessing. And I'll give you one example in Queensland, the seat at the lower house seat of right. I'm certain that small groups and independents want a lot more seats than what the AC and Liberal and Labor are saying. The example I give in the seat of right Queensland, the scrutineer for One Nation posted on social media that the primary vote in the polling booth where he was was 186 votes for the One Nation candidate Rod Smith. The Liberal candidate had 176 first preference votes and the Labor candidate had 73 first preference votes. Now, because the DRO, the district returning officer of the electorate, instructed the staff to say who they thought were the two party preferred. Sorry, I'm just doing some washing here. Dishes. <laughs> it's all wet. Um, two party preferred. They stated Liberal Labor. So they made two polls, Liberal Labor, and they took the One Nation votes for that polling booth, Rod Smith, and put them into the Liberal Labor Two Party Preferred, whereas the One Nation candidate, Rod Smith, was actually the lead candidate in that polling booth. That means he probably won that seat, the lower house seat of right, because that would have been applied to other polling booths across the electorate. And I had other complaints in other states too, in particularly Queensland, saying, well, no, because the DRO makes the decision about who the Two Party Preferred is, regardless of the first prefer preference vote. That's rubbish. They're not going on first preference votes. The DROs, the district returning officers in the AC are completely corrupt if they are instructing their staff in the AC to maintain a two party preferred for Liberal Labor regardless if another candidate, in this case, the One Nation candidate was the lead primary vote in that polling booth. He probably won the seat. And when I spoke to Mr. Smith on the phone, and said, well, why, did, why didn't your scrutineer object? He said he did, and they kicked the scrutineer out of the room. So AC staff kicking scrutineers out of the room, the smaller groups and independents, proves that they probably won more, a lot more seats, particularly in Queensland, what, than what they're saying. Now, I've got a solution to, to this, vote count and corruption. This is the most important issue that must be pushed by voters across Australia right up until 2016. We must fight publicly for an electronic voting system. And what I'm proposing is the following, that we have electronic voting system at public polling stations still, so it's all at public polling stations, and there are laptops set up in polling booths. So it's the same process, and the voter puts in their own vote. There's a software program which uh, created for the lower house and the senate where all the candidates and you must fill in the required number of boxes or minimum number of boxes etc and then the voter puts their own vote into the 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 
um, computer voting system and they get a printed receipt okay so the voter puts directly by hand their vote into the into the computer they receive a printed receipt there's a 24 hour independent scrutineering period after that where a big body of independent scrutineers goes into the process to observe the vote counting process through the computer system and any discrepancies the voter or have a 48 hour scrutineering period uh, that they can and then the voter can also um, challenge the vote reliability of their own vote they've got that printed receipt that removes the AC corruption of the paper ballot and, you know, p voting in pencil, which they probably changed the votes and rubbed them out. Why did they have a 48-hour voting stoppage? Are they rubbing out the votes and changing them? That removes the hand component of the...